Good morning, IBC. Today I have the pleasant uh, task of uh, talking to you about residence in relation to the Temple to Tabernacle series that we're going through. And residence can be taken in a couple of ways. God's residence, where is he residing in relation to the people? And our residence, where do we seem to find ourselves in relation to his residence? And we begin with one passage that uh, is starting in the Old Testament, Exodus 25, verse 8, where God gives the instructions to build him a tabernacle as the children of Israel would move through the wilderness. Let them construct a sanctuary for me, or a tabernacle, that I may dwell among them. It's mobile. It's movable. It will move with them. But I'd like to also draw your attention to another passage of parallel in John chapter 1, verse 14, where the Greek equivalent of the very same word for tabernacle is used, but it's in a verb form, where uh, John says, And the word, that is Christ, became flesh and dwelt among us. That dwelt means the verbal form there is to tabernacle, to actually build a tabernacle among us. Um, um, and so we see that God wants to live among or with, and then we see an interesting development in 1 Corinthians six nineteen, where Paul says, uh, what, know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? The actual sanctuary of God is our body and the creator God of the universe in the Holy Spirit form dwells within us. So that makes us aware that God is on the move. He's moving among his people, he's moving with his people, and he's moving in his people. And Paul says it well in Colossians also. He says uh, that the hope of glory is Christ in you. So let us uh, realize that in this time of the pandemic challenge that we've been facing, if we don't quite feel as close to God as formerly we did, uh, ask ourselves this question, who moved? Well, it's not God. He's on the move towards you. But if there's a distance now, it may be that our hearts have moved away from God. So I call us all to recommit to be still and know the presence of God.